I've been broken through. Lord, help me. Save me. For the Bible makes us to understand that when you go through the waters, Jesus is with you. When you go through the, water, the rivers, he is with you to make sure that there's rivers do not sweep you off your feet. When you go through the fire, he is there to make sure that the fire do not consume you. If you will call upon him, his name is Emmanuel. He will come and help you. The Bible makes us to understand that there was a time that Daniel, a man who believed in God, was placed in the lion's den to be eaten, devoured by the lions. But because Daniel believed in the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, God intervened and delivered Daniel from the lion's den. Imagine a man in the midst of wild beasts, lions, and yesterday he came out without any of them touching him because divine, Al Shaddai, God was with him to protect him. The Bible makes us to understand there were three Hebrew boys who decided not to trust in man's ideologies and man's ways and decided to stand for God. The Bible says that they were placed in a burning furnace to be consumed by the fire of life. But because they stood for God and because they believed in God and because they cried out to God, the Bible says that in the midst of the burning furnace, the fire, Jesus Christ was in their midst and the fire did not burn them or consume them. I see God intervening in your life if you will only call upon his name. Tonight, God wants to help you. He wants to deliver you from that addiction. He wants to deliver you. Don't commit suicide. Don't kill yourself. For God has a plan for your life. That's what the Bible says that before you were born, before you were even born by your mother, whilst you were in your mother's womb, God knew you and had a purpose for your life. That's what the devil who comes to kill, steal, and to destroy, he wants to destroy your life by inciting you, by telling you that, that there's no hope for you, so kill yourself. But I've come to tell you, don't commit suicide. Don't kill yourself. Don't take those drugs. Don't, don't try to allow the alcohol to ruin your life. God wants to put your life in perspective. Cry out to Jesus. He will deliver you from that addiction. He will deliver you from that bankruptcy. He will deliver you from the midst of the gang. He will deliver you from cancer, from arthritis, from migraine. Whatever the problem, whatever the sickness is, God is able to deliver you and to make you whole, to make you strong again, and to make you bounce back. Jeremiah 31 verse 17 says that, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? There is nothing too hard for God. God is an expert in the impossibilities. God is an expert in the impossibilities. What is impossible is possible with God. When man says that you can't do it, God can help you to do it. When man says that you cannot make it, God will make you make it. When man says that, the one man has written you out, and man says that there is nothing good that can come out of you, you are not qualified. God can qualify you and make you excel above all those who said you are not qualified. When God comes in, the very obstacles that confront you will become miracles. When God comes, the problem that you are facing will melt before you like wax before fire. God wants to help you. He wants you to cry out to him and he will help you. I pray that the spirit of the living God will help you to trust God and to depend on him. And he will do a marvelous thing in your life. God wants to wrap a miracle in your life. God wants to do a miracle in your life. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
the name which is above all names. For the Bible says that at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is God. The Bible says that at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow. The Bible makes us to understand that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, I pray right now for my hearers that if there is anyone who finds him, himself or herself in a complicated situation, in a tough time, the walls are closing on them. Their minds are spinning out of control. They're having sleepless nights. They don't know how to solve the problem, the complications in their life. It could be a health problem. It could be a social problem. It could be a mental problem. It could be a problem with their finances. A problem with their marriage. A problem with an addiction. A problem with a relationship. Father, whatever their problem is, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that by the time this telecast is over, you will intervene and deliver them, just like you delivered Daniel. You will intervene and deliver them, just as you delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the burning furnace. Deliver them, O oh God. Help them, O oh God. Save them, O oh God. And remove the obstacles from them. I command that, Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, let there be peace and let there be stillness in their life. I pray that you give them rest. I pray that you give them relief from every spirit of anxiety, fear, and worry. Deliver them from the tormenting spirit that is causing them to want to cause suicide and kill themselves. That tormenting spirit that is causing them not to sleep at night, that tormenting spirit that is causing them not to be happy. I pray release in your peace. I pray release in joy. I pray casting out, even in Jesus' name, the spirit of happiness and replacing it with the spirit of joy, even in Jesus' name. Father God, this week, do a new thing in their life. Supply all their needs according to your riches and glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Beloved, it is well with you. Trust in God. Cry out to him and you will see his salvation in your life. Once again, my name is Kay and welcome to Prayer Line. Keep on praying and God will do a new thing in your life. God bless you. It is well.